Hello my fashion babes, welcome back to my channel. A while ago I shared with you a um, little secret obsession that I had when I was younger and you guys loved that video. It reached almost 40,000 views. So, <laughs> because you guys loved it so much and you wanted me to do this video, um, I'm going to try on all my Louboutin collection. So you're gonna see me wearing all of my 21 pairs of Louboutin shoes. I'm missing two pairs because one of them, the Pigalle, I sold them. I told you in the other video they were super uncomfortable, small size, they were not okay. And then another pair is in my other apartment. But do not worry, we still have a lot to try. Let's go. Oh wait, before we get going, do you follow me on Instagram? Are you subscribed to my channel? Well, if you're not, I suggest and I highly recommend you do so because it would definitely make me feel better knowing that I'm not doing all these videos all for myself and that you guys are enjoying and you're watching them and it's something that interests you. So subscribe and follow me on my two Instagram profiles. Now let's go. Ta-da! My Christian Louboutin shoe collection. In this video, we are just going to do a try-on. So if you are interested in knowing the story about each and every single one of these shoes, what they're called, the sizing, and more information about them, you're gonna have to watch my other vlog. But before we start diving into the feet runway show with all these beautiful pairs of shoes, I want to show you the latest shoes that I just purchased from, of course, Le Boutin. I know I said that my obsession is over, but I had to have a pair of these kind of shoes. I really wanted to have Soke, the Pigalle, you know, the, the, the classic pumps that they have, but unfortunately, none of them were comfortable for me, none. They were all hurting me everywhere and I wanted to get a pair that was gonna be classy and um, feminine and beautiful, but without being in pain. And I found them. These super beautiful, so chic, or so chic, Christian Louboutin shoes. So chic, chic, this is what they're called. So as you can see, they're made of patent leather. Very beautiful, so feminine. I absolutely love the design over here. And they're very comfortable. I mean, don't get ready to dance all night long because they don't have a platform, so your little paws are gonna hurt you. But they're more comfortable than any other style of this kind, at least for me. All the other ones were either a bit stiff here, either they were too long, either they were too short, either like something was going on that was not okay. But these ones are absolutely perfect. They run a little bit small, so I got a size 40 and a half, especially because they are very, very, very thin over here and pointy, so I suggest you take a little bit of a bigger number. These super sexy, elegant, so chic Louboutin shoes. They are a little bit tight over here. My favorite lady peep. I had these in uh, burgundy color as well, but just do not have them with me. I have been wearing them <laughs> so often. One of my most favorite pairs are these Lady Peep in Python. If you do want to find out more about sizing and all the other information, you have to watch my other video. This is just a try-on video as you guys requested. 
we're going a bit rock and roll right here. Rock and roll with these crazy spikes. <laughs> Weapons, right? And all of these with their 15 or 16, 15 centimeter heels. Some more spikes. These are one of the first Louboutin shoes that I bought. And I've been looking for them like crazy. I wanted the black version, but I could only find the nude ones. They're also very, very, very used. And as you can see, they all have these crazy high heels. My most destroyed pair on shoes just because this glitter is absolutely not the best quality at all and as you can see they got destroyed everywhere I still kept them because they have sentimental value and they're so beautiful they don't make them anymore obviously these limited edition I tied them up differently so you can see how they look both ways. Got these in Miami. I did not wear them too much, to be honest, because I feel like they were just harder to wear with all these colors. But they are spectacular. I was not so sure about these ones because of all the different colors but in the end I did get them unfortunately they have a little stain I do not know how I managed to do that over here the 20 year anniversary Louboutin shoes these are 16 centimeters tall with the platform i must admit these ones are quite hard to walk on so i have not been wearing them very often all the other ones no problem dancing walking you name it these are my 18 year old birthday party shoes they worked perfectly with my outfit of the night I was obsessed with them with the glitter in the back I love them love them love them love them so much take a look these were my 20 something year old shoes 16 centimeter heels i do not know how i danced all night long in them because they are so uncomfortable unfortunately also half a size smaller than what i would usually wear but since i could not find them in my size i just bought whatever size i can find These shoes I wear like absolute crazy with tights without winter, summer, all the time. These ones can get quite uncomfortable because of the laces they have in front. But, uh, well, back then I didn't really care about comfort. I, I mean, I love them. I love them also. These shoes have a funny story. I broke their heel. If you want to know what happened, it's all in the other video. A bit of a lower heel. Similar style, but a lower heel. 
suede, 39 and a half. Oh, so small. But I could not resist them. At least I was consistent. I liked kind of the same style of shoe. The same pink color as the other ones. Just a different style. Closing in the front with two locks over here. I'm also trying to sell these ones. They are so beautiful, but unfortunately they did not have my size. So they are size 39. Instead of a size 40, I cannot wear them. This is for sure, but look at the thin, gold heel, so nice. I used to also be obsessed with spikes. These ones are not the easiest to walk in because the heel is very, very heavy and very high also. I just love the color, the style, the fit. Moving on to the winter kind of shoes. These are suede boots with gold and spikes. 39 and a half, so also quite small. I wish I got them 40. Or maybe my foot got bigger. Do you guys feel like with the years your feet got bigger or is it just me? I did a hospitality university and we used to have to be obliged to wear suits and professional outfits every day. So these were my, well, professional heels, if we can call them so. <laughs> now you're not allowed to wear such high heels in the university, but back then they did not have this rule, lucky me. And last pair of heels, these are unbearable right now. Are these also um, high heel, obviously, boots, open toe boots? How could you even call them? So uncomfortable, I cannot even walk two seconds in them anymore. But beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here with me. I really hope you enjoyed seeing me try on all these beautiful shoes. Let me know which one is your favorite pair of my Le Bouton shoes. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I have two accounts, Krisha and Krisha Style. I hope you enjoyed this little foot runway try on video. Thank you, babes, for watching. Have a good day and a wonderful rest of your week. Goodbye.